Okay, so this is a video that I have created, inspired by the director Akira Kurosawa, and it's got making this vlog to show you step by step throughout um, why we did what we did and how I changed it and how I would change it in the future. So let's start. The video starts with me on the black and white background and then focus on the fire because um, a lot of his videos are very like uh, to show emotion he uses the elements so fire is anger, uh, rain he uses when there's like a death or a sorrow um, and then it starts from this shot and then there's this part where I crack my neck because he also asks his actors to um, do gestures throughout the film to symbolise when they were feeling particular emotion so that he would have less need for dialogue. He didn't like dialogue very much. So there, that, that shot was a, a canted shot but as a pan. And then in the next shot, it's another pan but it's an opposite, it's canted the other way. Um, and he liked to switch up his shots a lot uh, to that a long shot to this shot and this shot as well because it shows the weather and it shows a transition without cutting uh, and then it goes into this sh next shot of um, the empty like field, uh, field uh, empty park kind of um, and he used uh, weather a lot, so what we wanted to do was to darken the, uh, the white sky to show emotion, but um, we didn't have that enough time and couldn't really have to do it. But if I was to do it again, I would spend some more time on that and um, find a way to darken it to show the emotion of the character. So we see him running into scene and then stopping. So you see there's two different shots there, so it goes from a wide to the focus of the character and then it pans a bit to show the, the villain. And then it zoomed in and then um, it showed the character, I'll show it one soon. And then there was that the cracking of the neck again, so that showed the repetition of the movement. Um, this 360 around in both. And this was really difficult shot to achieve actually because uh, we just used a single, instead of using a track or anything, we just used a wheel. So we had a, someone walking around us both. And um, yeah, my original plan was to do a, a full 360 going to the same place, but because there was a crowd of people behind us, so we, um, we only did a 180 almost, so they were out of view. Um, and then it goes into the next shot where it's the actual commutation of it. Um, this one was actually a bit hard because if you see on the back there's like a the window and it's been like um, reflected and it's made to be a reflective surface. So you can see the characters running each other but the camera kept getting in the way so we had to like position it perfectly behind the um, behind the like frame of the window. Um, and then there was the run to um, to the meet uh, to the uh, to the actual fight. Um, yeah. So if I were to do it again, uh, I would have changed maybe the weather, maybe added like a rain scene, but obviously we didn't have the budget for that. Um, also, uh, the pan of me running when we were inside the building, um, I would have wanted to cant it a bit more to add a bit of a more of a contrast between that and the next shot. Um, what else? What else? Let's go through the time. Uh, maybe some better actors. So cannot act. But um, I think that the pace of it really went really well because uh, a lot of his films, one of the main points about them is they really flowed. Um, and another thing is that uh, he cuts 
on movement quite a lot instead of cutting on a still point like uh, some actors. So um, if you see the scene where uh, after the first pan, um, I started running down the from the downstairs and into the corridor. It was the same running movement, so it sort of flowed together. And then from that to the corridor to uh, the next shot of the corridor, which was a low angle shot, which showed the character as a dominant character. Um, and then from that to the outside, they were all one fluid motion. And even though they were on different like areas, different places, and that the hall even led to a dead end, it still looked like it flowed. So I was really happy about that. Um, some of the shots were a bit shaky. Um, for example, the uh, the tilt all the way over to show the sky to the running far shot. That was a bit shaky, so I would have changed that. Um, and also the 360 pan around both of us together. That was really shaky as well, so maybe kept like add it and try to maybe use a um use a stabilizer in it. Um yeah and then also the sky as well. The other thing I would have done is um in the zoom to from the wide shot to the zoom in on myself um cracking my neck just before the uh, the fight um, I would have liked to maybe instead of zoom in, walk in, like uh, walk towards the character um, instead of cutting the zoom because um, then that would have been much more of a fluid transition. But that's about it. Um, we have learned, I have learned a um, lot about his style and his uh, camera style and editing style. And uh, I'm definitely going to use it in the future of my filmmaking career. Um, that's about it.